Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Today we're going to be using the Honey Bee Bat Dye, which I absolutely love. I waited for scrapbook.com to get this in because it was a bit cheaper to order from there and their shipping is better. Um, but then I got slammed with some duties charges, so who knows, it probably would have even out. Um, but we're just making a quick and simple card for today. Most of the work is done up front, like I've already pre-cut all my pieces for the bat and I'm just putting together the base right now. I am also using a paper pack from Honey Bee, which is called Sweet and Spooky. It's from the same release um, and I'm just using this, it's a purple, black and like tan colored print almost. And I'm using teal as the accent color just because that was one of the colors out of the paper pack. Uh, so if you're ever stuck for colors to go with pattern paper, like solid colors, you can either pick from the pattern that you're using or pick from the paper pack because um, there's generally more colors in the pack than it, on that one print that you're using for that particular card. And I had a bunch of like larger scraps of this cardstock, so I didn't want them to go to waste. Like I would probably use them eventually, but in order to use it for the, like the matting layer, I just put two pieces together. There's a bit of a seam, but like the mat's only an eighth of an inch bigger, so you're, no one's ever gonna notice unless they look up close or if they watch this video. <laughs> um, but again, not a huge deal. And right now I am assembling my bat. Uh, so I cut all my pieces out. I am doing a white bat. And if you know what movie this is from, comment down below and let me know what you think it is. Um, this was inspired by that particular movie, uh, which is why I cut out all these pieces in different colors. Um, I'm doing, again, the bat as white. I did the uh, biggest layer in a, like a gray just for the inside of the wing which is not necessarily correct for that character but it just looks nicer layered up in different colors I did cut all of the face pieces in white except for the again the very back layer I cut in pink um, and I cut another one of the layers in pink just because I was going to insert the pink into the eyes because this character's eyes are like um pink and then like black pupils but i decided just to color one of the layers with an alcohol marker in the sections that i needed it so i needed the little tufts of fur to be a little bit darker just for some contrast in the pink and then the eyes themselves needed to be pink so i just colored them with an alcohol marker not coloring the whole section because that particular piece is also like the tuft under the neck so I had to make sure that that also stayed white. So I left that and only colored the areas that I absolutely needed to be pink. For the pupils, um, those were also cut in pink. The pupils, the nose, and the teeth get cut together because those are the three smallest pieces, but they are probably most likely going to be three different colors. Um, so you're gonna have to cut that a few times. But I cut this one in the pink for the because I needed pink for the nose, and then I I just decided to color in with a C9 marker um, so that it wasn't like black black, but it was still black enough. And apologies, but my head is gonna get in the way here. These pieces are fairly small, especially the teeth. The teeth I cut in the same gray that I cut the back piece of just so that it wasn't going to blend into the actual bat because his entire face is white. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gluing down the head to the body, which is good because I ended up tearing that section of that white piece where like the wings and the body are with the washi tape that I used. So the head actually covered up that spot and I didn't have to recut it. And then I printed a quote from the movies um, onto a piece of paper in a similar teal. This actually just happened to almost match perfectly to the cardstock I had. I just kind of like picked a stock color or whatever on Illustrator and then I'm just gonna back it um, also with the teal and then I will um, leave that an eighth of an inch border around that and round the corners as well. And then once that's done, uh, I'm going to pop up both the sentiment and the bat on some foam tape. Originally I was just gonna do the sentiment, but I decided that the bat could use it too, even though like like the face is pretty layered. There's quite a few. There's one, two, three, like four, probably like five layers to the face. 
um, plus the two layers of the body. So you're getting like about seven layers of cardstock there in some areas, but I still added some foam tape just for a little bit more dimension. This die is super cute. It looks a little like blown out because it is white in this video, but it does look pretty good in person. And I did add some Copic coloring to it, which again, you'll see in a second, I'm just going to add a little bit of shading to it. You could do it with ink um, before you assemble and try to add a bit, but I didn't want it to get too dirty. And originally I was just going to leave it just the cardstock layers, but I decided it needed just a little bit of shading. So I'm just going to use my C1 markers, um, to go along the ridges of the wings shade around the head a bit. And then the different like layers added some colorless blender just to help blend it out a bit. And then I decided to color the area behind the head and then I'm adding um, just shadow under each layer. And I'll do that under the chin, under the eyes and the wings. And then I'm gonna bring out a warm gray marker for that inner wing cause the cardstock that I used was like a slightly more of a warmer gray. And I'm just gonna, again, just add it to like the ridges there and underneath whatever part of the wing that's called, uh, like the bones. And then once that's done, I go in and add the pops of color in a glossy white and give it a good tap on the back to help those spread out, round out and flatten a little bit. Uh, but that's pretty much our card for today, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Again, comment down below if you need a hint. It's an animated movie, not Disney. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd love to have you here and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Follow me on my social medias. All of them are posted in the description down below. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Until then, bye.